Another day, another English lesson. There is R plus noun phrase plus infinitive. Hello everyone. Welcome back. Today, we're going to learn a natural way to describe places and things in English using this structure. There is R plus noun phrase plus infinitive. This is a great way to talk about what you can do in different locations. For example, London is a wonderful city. There are many museums to visit. At the library, there are books to read and quiet spaces to study. At the beach, there is plenty of sunshine to enjoy. Notice how the infinitive tells us what we can do at each place. Now watch and listen to these sentences with there is. R plus noun phrase plus infinitive. 1. At the park, there are trails to walk on and gardens to explore. 2. In the kitchen, there are lots of ingredients to cook with and recipes to try. 3. At school, there is a library to study in and a playground to play on. 4. In the city center, there are shops to buy things and cafes to relax in. 5. By the lake, there is a dock to fish from in clear water to swim in. 6. At the museum, there are exhibits to learn from and art to admire. 7. At home, there is a garden to plant flowers and space to relax. 8. On the mountain, there are trails to hike and views to enjoy. 9. Now, you try, watch and fill in the blanks with the infinitive you've heard. One, at the park, there are trails to walk on and gardens to explore. Two, in the kitchen, there are lots of ingredients to cook with and recipes to try. Three, at school, there is a library to study in and a playground to play on. Four, in the city center, there are stores to buy things and cafes to relax in. Five, by the lake, there is a dock to fish from in clear water to swim in. Six, at the museum, there are exhibits to learn from and art to admire. Seven, at home, there is a garden to plant flowers and space to relax. Eight, on the mountain, there are trails to hike and views to enjoy. Thanks for watching this worldwide ELT English language teaching video. 
Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.